morning guys long time no speak how are you all um i had my hen weekend last weekend um at my friend basically we met at uni which was seven years ago i left uni and um she's from cheshire so she's from the north and uh, she's getting married and we didn't really we didn't really realize it but we didn't really stay in touch with anyone else from uni in a proper way we're really only friends with each other um from uni so basically at the hen party she had two groups of people she had her family her cousins her mum, sister and aunts and lots of them and then she's got a group of friends that she's gone to school with since she was really young this her there we go um and then all their boyfriends are best friends so they're they have all worked together they've all been to school together they all live in the same village they all their boyfriends are best friends and then they're with me so it was like two really cool groups of people and then me and i didn't really know anyone anyway i knew i didn't really know anyone before i went i've met her her mum, her sister and her, one of her cousins before. Um, and so, but I don't, you know, know them to like text or anything. Um, <clears throat> so I was pretty nervous about going because I didn't really know anyone. And actually it was, it was really hard. And when I got there, because all the family were on the first floor and then all the friends were on the top floor, there was one bathroom between like, 12 girls and they all knew each other so they all wanted to like well they didn't want to but they all showered together and went to the loo together and stuff and I had never met these people before obviously I didn't want to jeopardize my friends time the whole time um and I totally get when you're in that situation the last thing you'd want to do is make an effort with someone like me that when you're there with your friends why would you want to make like an effort with sort of not the outsider but I can't think of a better word so I really enjoyed celebrating my friend's hen party. I really enjoyed that. And I really enjoyed, we went whitewater rafting on the Saturday, which was really good fun. I've never been to Wales before either, apart from half a day for work, which I didn't count. So I really liked Wales as well, where we went. Um, but it was, it was really hard. I did have my moments where I felt really, really lonely, like in the morning they'd all run into each other's rooms and um, like chat for hours because we weren't, we didn't do anything until sort of midday. And it sort of felt like I was a new kid at school, if I'm being totally honest, but I wasn't, which sounds really stupid because I'm 32, but that's sort of how it felt if I was gonna reflect it against a feeling. Um, so it was, it was, a fun weekend but it was it was really hard work I had to make a lot of effort with people and I didn't like shy away or hide in my room or anything but it was just a constant like effort so um since I didn't get back I left straight after work on Friday I didn't get back until Sunday night I'd barely had any sleep the whole weekend because obviously we were celebrating and um so and then Monday no, I was just, after work, I was just knackered because I'd rather throw myself into work and then not do much in the evenings. But then Tuesday, I went to trampoline class with a friend. Wednesday, I met a friend for a drink and we had a few more wines than I was planning on. And then yesterday, I had to go to London for work. So today, there's a massive night workout. It's huge. And I've always said I'm not going. Um, and um, it's not, <laughs> no one's very happy about the fact I'm not going, but it's just one work night that I'm not going to. But we have um, some people starting in September and they're coming today for lunch and then they're gonna stay and go out on this night out and I have to go to the lunch thing. Um, and that starts at 2.30, it's not really lunch, I think it's like a drinking afternoon. Um, so I'm gonna try my best and <laughs> not be persuaded to go out the plan is not to do that um anyway it's friday morning i really need to go to work actually i've been talking to you guys i'm fine 
I'm fine. I've been talking to you guys for five minutes, but I just wanted to show you this cup. So I went to John Lewis um, a week and a half ago. It was, and this was in a sale. It says Love Potion. It's, I think it's, yeah, by Ban, Bandu, Bandeau, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's a crush and juicy new improved formula. Obviously, I wouldn't normally buy a cup like this, but it was reduced from £11 to £2. So I got two of those because I love having my um, morning coffee and this seems like a good one. I like to take it to work and I need a top, otherwise it spills. So I thought I'd show you that. Anyway, I'm going to go because um, I've got to go, go to work, actually. <laughs> I have to go to Reading for work. Um but I need to go to the office first because I forgot my notes for my meeting. So that was silly. So I have to go, I have to go. Morning. Um, so I did have a few wines last night, uh, more than I expected. And that's why I didn't film last night because I was otherwise incapacitated. Um, but now we're going to trampolining. Now we're going to a trampoline park and we're on our way and it starts at 10 and I think I've done very well to be here right now. Although the time is 10 o'clock and Alex has been yeah, a little bit stressed about that. He's very excited about going. Ooh. And then, yeah. That is the story. So I probably won't film anything in the trampoline park in terms of me being on there because you're not allowed to take your camera onto the trampolines, but I'll try and get some footage of Alex from the balcony for you guys. Hi people. So I couldn't film anything during trampolining because A, I was having too much fun and B, there are a lot of, bloody hell, that looks like an eagle. Hmm, that's weird. There were a lot of kids there. I think first thing in the morning is kid time. Oh, it's a kite. Oh, I thought it was an eagle. It's a kite on top of John Lewis. You definitely won't be able to see it. Anyway, we're at John Lewis because um, I want to see if they still have stuff in the sale. And also Alex and I are going to register here for our wedding gifts. Um, not for another year, but uh, whilst we're here, there's actually a John Lewis opening up in our town in October so we probably won't come to this one again unless the one in our town is crap but there you go love John Lou Johnny Lou Look at these ice cube trays naughty nice oh this is cool big old ice cubes that's really cool I'm actually loving all this stuff what's this a mini ice Oh, it's a tiny ice thing. This is also cool. This is a mini ice cream maker. It makes ice cream in 10 minutes. Oh, this is cool as well. Slush and shake maker. Loves it. Let's have a look. It's so cool. I love this selection. I love these wine goblets and these champagne flutes. And I love this little honey pot, honey and bee pot. And I love the champagne buckets. Oh, and these. Little olive pickers. It's cute. This is my favorite section. Sunny life, tropical theme. Blow up flamingos. Tropical table confetti, salt and pepper shakers. Cocktail umbrella. This is amazing. Love. The oh my god, that's so heavy. Love him. My little Mexican. Ole, ole! Andale, andale! Mami, ia, ia, uh -oh. Yeah, love this dude. Love a lobster lilo. I mean, who wouldn't? Let's face it. Does everyone think this is made for me? Flamingos and pineapples? I would say yes. Really nice oven gloves by Fenella Smith. And a makeup bag. 
and other such. This note notepad's pretty cool as well. Loves it, loves it. Look what's happened here. Bloody rainy, bloody cold. And Alex has very lovingly gone to get the car so I don't have to suffer in the rain. So we've now come to the retail park, which we've never been to before. Because I wanted to go to the Primark. Someone at work said it was really good. Which is just there. And it's got, it's got good clothes shops around here, but it's 1.30. So I quite want lunch, so we're gonna go to Marks and Spencer and get some lunch. We didn't get anything in John this, just so you know. Okay, we're having a jack of potato from Marks for lunch. Tuna and sweet corn and little side salad. Primark is excellent, it's so quiet for a start. And it's got some excellent things in it, like this flamingo. This is excellent. Five pounds. Cactus that lights up. Three pounds. I love llama stuff. Llama stuff is all what I'm into at the minute as well. No problem. Loves it. A weekly planner. How does this work? Hmm. I'll show you guys what we're getting. So. You know, I like have my iced coffee in the morning. These are really cheap, the gushery. So there's this one, that was 3.50. And then this great one, no problema, for 3.50. I'm getting another one of these, because I love it. That is three. There's the unicorn face, um, what's it called, face? Sheet mask, that's it. And then Alex is getting these two for men, mud mask. I'm going to try these dark circle reducing sunflower eye patches. We've got some tights. We've got loads of these for our wedding, which is excellent. Celebration bubbles, only a pound for eight. A bargain of the century. And then we're getting this stuff for my niece for Christmas. I know we're in July, but I love shopping for Christmas early. I just love being organised. So we've got her this book. She's obsessed with stickers. So we got her this book. It's really glittery and the paper's really thick. It's really good this makeup bag with Ariel on and then we've got her some lip glosses from Beauty and the Beast. What's that? That looks cool. These nail varnishes from Disney Princesses. This pencil case with stickers in, rulers, pens and pencils. These stickers with the unicorns on. Sorry Alex. And this really cool backpack. Yeah. And I think, I think that's everything. I love all the mugs here. Oh, and those are the, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I posted a picture of that honey pot. It's on the top shelf in the middle. Can you show them? Oh, I was gonna say, just put the camera closer. Thanks, Alex. Oh, you're gonna get it out, interesting. So yeah, I posted this on Instagram. I bought it the other day. It, I think it's four pounds for a Disney mug. So good. For six. six pounds, six pounds. It's really cool, loves it. And they also have some other Winnie the Pooh and Eel ones, but I'm not such a fan of those. But I'm, not, I'm liking the mug collection at Primark. I do. And our final shopping destination is our favorite outlet store. Mm. Um, I just thought, as we were coming past, I know that they've got a Liberty pop-up shop. So, right, this Liberty pop-up shop is where I want to be. Where I want to be. Right here. 